Let us discuss the addition and uh, subtraction of functions. Now, differentiation of addition and subtraction of function from the first principle. Let us say we have the function y equals u plus v, where u and v are functions of x. And they are different functions, actually. So, from the first principle, we're made to understand that the y plus the y, that is y plus the y equals u plus the u plus v plus the v. Now, how do we go about this? We have to make y to come to this other right hand side so as to make the y stand alone. So, the y is equal to u plus the u plus v plus the v, then minus y. So, the, u, the y gives us u plus the u plus v plus the v minus u plus v. If you open the bracket, you have the y equals u plus the u plus v plus the v minus u minus v. This cancels out. This cancels out. Why this cancels out? We are now left with, we are left with the y equal to the u plus the v. The u plus the v. And since our focus is to find dy dx, let us divide through by dx. If you do that, we can now take the limit of the left hand side. So, limit of the y dx as the x tends to zero gives us the y over the x. Therefore, the y over the x will give us the u over the x plus the v over the x. And this is the differential of the differential of the addition of functions. Okay? Now, we can use this same method to solve for the subtraction. So, let us just consider the subtraction before we end it for today's class. So, the same way we did addition, if we have the, if we have the function y equals u minus v, remember our focus is dy dx, which is equal to what we're looking for, that is the question mark. And I said earlier while discussing the addition that u and v are functions of x. So if we look for the small infinitesimal changes equals u plus the u minus v plus the v. To do that, we have uh, the y is equal to u plus the u minus v plus the v minus y. So the y equals u plus the u minus v plus the v minus y is u minus v. So this gives us the y equals u plus the u minus v plus the v minus u plus v minus u plus v. So if we cancel out, we would have that. Remember, so we're not confuse ourselves. These should be in the bracket, okay? So if we cancel this out, and uh, this will cancel out. The y will give us nothing but so the y is equal to du minus dv. Then dividing through by dx, we have dx over dx over dx. Taking the limit of the left hand side. Limit of the y over the x as the x tends to zero will give us the full differential, and that is what we are looking for. So, this equation becomes the y over the x is equal to du over the x minus 
the v over the x and this is our final answer so this is how we differentiate both addition and subtraction i want you to take note that in some cases you might be given a function where you have both addition and subtractions of functions for instance if we have y equals 2x to the power 3 minus x to the power 2 plus 4x squared i ask to find the y the x this is very very possible what you just have to do is to differentiate each function differently. Differentiate each function differently and include their respective signs. This would take us to our next point where we'll discuss practical examples. Let us solve this question before we end it on this note. So if we have y to be equal to 2x to the power 3 minus x squared then plus 4x squared and we have to find the y the x so the y the x is 3 times 2x to the power 3 minus 2x to the power 2 minus 1 plus 2 times 4 x to the power 2 minus 1 I'm sure that's yeah this is what we have so if we do that we have 6x to the power 3 this is minus 1 okay so 6x to the power 3 minus 1 minus 2x to the power 1 plus 8x to the power 1 this gives us 6x squared minus okay plus 2x to the power 1 plus minus 2x to the power 1 plus x to the power 1 is equal to plus 6x. And this is our final answer of the differential of the function. So this brings us to the end of today's class on the addition and subtraction of the differentiation of a function. So see you in our next class.